We got them moving the camera about trying to see what's going on a little bit, but yeah, you can see it is stacked, it is packed. Good luck trying to get anywhere today. I-10 eastbound at Ambassador. Okay, so we have a live shot. This is the accident scene and uh, does not look too good there. So uh, we do know one person has been injured in this accident, but we will keep you updated as we get more information. Well, we have an update and a live look at the crash on I-10 this morning here. This is what we can see of the scene right now. One person critically injured following the crash on the eastbound overpass at University. Right now, all traffic being diverted to alternate routes. I'm thinking Willow and Cameron all the way to Evangeline Thruway, maybe if you're headed east. If you are traveling in the air, expect delays. Be patient. Updates will be provided as more information becomes available. Okay, 747, we've got a live look at that accident at I-10 at Ambassador this morning, and we're going to give you the latest details here. Boy, still a lot of fun movement out there. Again, guys, be careful. They're rerouting things. Everything's at a standstill. Alternate routes, if you're on the northern end, going across Karen Crow to the throughway. If you're on the southern end of I-10, I would suggest Willow and Cameron and Pinhook. You know, cutting across and get to Evangeline through and then work your way back up. Yep. Adam, what do you have? Well, uh, we have a lot of information that we're going to try and bring you here uh, pretty quickly, though, Alex and Scott, because this is a live view of the scene um, right at the University Avenue exit. So the actual accident is here at University. Traffic is backed up both directions, um, westbound and eastbound. Now, the eastbound lanes are closed and you're being diverted off on University there. So that is why we are seeing some movement, but the I-10 eastbound lanes are closed at University. Westbound lanes are open. However, traffic is moving very slowly and we have those delays now past the 1049 split. Locally, this is what it looks like at Ambassador where traffic is still not moving at all. And so that's why if you're headed eastbound, Highway 90, the best alternative, westbound coming into town, take uh, 10 to 49, uh, well, the 1049 split down the throughway and get on 90 headed westbound there to avoid this because it is a mess out there with that accident. We know at least one person critically injured in this incident. So we are going to continue to update you there as we get more information.